So what's holding you back from pulling the trigger and buying a new 2024 Toyota Tacoma? You know, I've been thinking about this and there was something that was holding me back. There were two things that were holding me back. One was the uncertainty of the power of the four cylinder turbo. Is the truck gonna go? Is it gonna be quick? That was my big concern because the last thing I would wanna do is trade off my third gen V6 and lose power. That would suck, that would be a drag, right? Could you imagine you jump in, you go ahead, pull the trigger, let's say you're one of the folks that put down a deposit sight unseen on the 2024 Tacoma. You go in, do the paperwork, you didn't need to test drive it because you're already committed, right? You get in it, you pull out of the dealership, you hit the gas, and it feels like it's weaker, slower. What a drag that would be. Well, I'm here to tell you, after doing my test drive, and I did drive a 2024, there's a video link down below if you wanna see how that went, I was impressed. To me, it feels just as quick as a stock Toyota Tacoma. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about one that doesn't have the pedal commander in it because it's pretty darn equivalent with the pedal commander. It might be a little bit quicker even. I'm not quite sure. I have to drive one again, but I'm not concerned about that at all now. They did a great job. It has fantastic, fantastic rather, pickup and acceleration. Even at speed, somebody asked me recently, well, if you're going down the freeway at 65 mile an hour or 70 or whatever, and you need to punch it a little to get around somebody or whatever you're doing, will it go? Does it have enough guts to be able to do that? And the answer was yes. I tried that myself at about 70 mile an hour, hit the gas and it jumped right up, no issues. Number two, pricing. Pricing has to be, I think, other than the concern about the engine, the main concern when it comes to the new Tacoma, pricing, it's obviously more money. Now, beyond that is of course the market adjustments that some dealerships are adding. I have stated on the channel that I would not pay a market adjustment and I will not. I will keep the third generation I have if I cannot get one without that added cost. It's just not worth it to me. It makes absolutely no sense. So I'm going in under the assumption that if we're working out a deal and we're gonna get a new Tacoma, we're gonna be working with a dealership that's gonna sell it to me at at least MSRP. And I hate to say that because you remember the old days when you'd go in and you'd dicker and, and negotiate and all of that those days seem to be just about gone. I don't know, I'm sure they're gonna come back eventually once stock increases, particularly if the new Tacoma is not a huge hit and there starts to accumulate some inventory on the dealer's sites, the dealer lots, because they're not gonna just leave them set. So given those two things for me, I'm not really concerned and I think it's uh, it's gonna be a, a go. It's just a matter of finding the one that I want and that's really gonna be the issue for me is finding the one that I want. I'm not gonna settle for a particular bland color. And of course, unless you like it. I mean, if you're a person that likes some of the more muted colors, then not a problem because there's a ton of them out there. Seems to be what Toyota is primarily releasing right now with a little bit of the more vivid colors kind of sprinkled in here and there. So I have to find the right color, number one. Number two, of course, and maybe number one, we'll swap these, is the right tr trim level. I could go for either a TRD Off-Road or a TRD Sport. And actually, lately, I'm leaning more towards the Sport because that's the truck that I drove in my test drive. Again, there's a link down below if you wanna check out that video. And I was very impressed with it. It felt good, it was comfortable, it was smooth. Of course, I already talked about the power that it had. I was happy with that. So I like the setup that Toyota has put out on the Sport. The suspension, you know, all of the different trucks can vary in, in set up a little bit, different types of suspension, the way that they're set up. It used to be the Sport was a firmer ride. 
Didn't seem to be that way on the most recent one that I drove, and who knows, maybe the TRD off-road is now a little firmer, or maybe it's even softer than what the Sport is. I'm not sure, but I was very happy with the Sport. So basically for me, a good vivid color and a TRD Sport with pricing no more than MSRP, and of course, I have to throw in a good trade-in value for this truck. I'm not giving it away. It's worth a decent amount of money. There's a lot of people out there that want them still, and I'm sure the dealership wouldn't have any trouble selling it. So what are some of the other comments that I'm hearing from you folks out there? Quality, reliability. That's probably, other than the engine, the biggest one that I hear about. A lot of people are concerned that since it's a new truck, redesigned, first model year, there's going to be issues. I'm pretty sure there will be myself. I don't think there's going to be anything really major. I can't imagine. But if there is, you have warranty. Now, it is a hassle, obviously, to have to go in and sit at the dealership or wait for parts so that they can replace or fix whatever needs to be done. I understand that. I'm willing to sacrifice, I guess, my time should anything like that happen. You know, we just had a big recall recently on the Toyota Tundra, the redesigned Tundra, even though it's been out for a little while. There's a transmission issue. Apparently in neutral, the truck will still move. Well, you don't want to have your truck sitting there in neutral thinking that you're not going to have any issue and all of a sudden the truck takes off. So that's something that the new Tundra owners are dealing with. Hopefully that doesn't spill over into the new Tacoma transmission. Another thing people are concerned about is the body style, the look of it. Some people have stated they don't care for it, they don't like it, it looks like a mini Tundra. I don't really see any problem with that. I mean, the Tacoma has always resembled the Tundra somewhat. They're in the same family, they're built by the same manufacturer, of course there are going to be similarities. I don't see that as a negative. I like the new Tundra. Now, I know that some people are going to disagree. I do like the older ones as well. I think the really older ones, the first and second gens, are really good looking. I'd love to have one of those that I could redo and update myself. But nonetheless, I do like the body style. I know a lot of people are concerned about it. I think once you see it in person, actually see it in a real 3D environment, you'll be impressed. It looks pretty good. Lastly is capability, towing and hauling. Because of that engine, a lot of people are concerned that because it is a four-cylinder turbo, there's going to be turbo problems. It's not going to be able to handle the weights. We shall see. That kind of, I think, is still up in the air, and that's probably... I would say the, the most valid concern that I've heard from folks out there we won't know. We won't know until it's put out in the field and used in real world situations. You know we overload our trucks. It's a truck. You're supposed to be able to do that. Will this new 2024 Tacoma handle it? We'll find out. In the end, I'm not concerned. I think it's an awesome truck. I was very impressed when I drove it and I will have one eventually. Leave a comment. Let me know. After seeing them out there, maybe you've gone off and test driven one. Are you still concerned about some of those things or did actually experiencing the new truck in, in person kind of satisfy those things and now you're ready to or not? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.